Good morning and uh, happy Gospel Sunday to everyone. I'd like to thank uh, Brother uh, Mike Arup, the Evangelist Minister of uh, Eastport Hills Church of Christ, and the uh, elders of this congregation for uh, scheduling me to share a message this morning during this uh, Lenten season. I'd like also to thank those who responded to my personal invitation to join the worship services this morning and hear the message that I prepared. We have here uh, Mark Flores and and we have the Madlai and Talon families right there. Thank you for joining with us. The Lenten season, many will be celebrating Palm Sunday on March 24, Good Friday on March 29, and then Easter Sunday on March 31. To fully understand and have deeper appreciation on the sacrifice of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, his death, burial, and resurrection, which is the gospel, I'd like to share with you a timely topic and lesson on effective, practical, and proven ways of sharing the gospel to our pranks. That's acronym for friends, relatives, acquaintances, neighbors, co-workers, and even strangers. But before we'll continue, I'd like to request that you all answer the following questions honestly and sincerely. The first one, who wants to go to heaven? Please raise your right hands. That's 100%. Number two, do you desire and want all your pranks to go to heaven with you? Yes. Raise your right hand, please. That's 100%. Number three, since you became a Christian, <clears throat> please raise your right hands if you have personally assisted and encouraged or helped one to five precious souls from among your pranks. That's uh, good enough, we have some. The fourth one, since you became a Christian, please raise your right hand. If you have help assisted six to 20 precious souls, go to heaven with you. It's a smaller, a smaller number. The next one, since you became a Christian, please raise your right hand if you have her assisted at least 60 to 20 pesos souls go to heaven with you. We have about uh, three. The next one, since you became a Christian, please raise your right hand if you have personal assistance and help. 21 to 49 pesos souls go to heaven with you. We got two or three. That's a good one. And the final one. Since you became a Christian, kindly raise your right hand. If you have personally assisted, help 50 or more pesos souls, go to heaven with you. We have just, we have two. That's a good one. I hope and pray that uh, after the end of this message, you will be as able to answer a resounding yes to all the questions that I've asked a few years from now. Before I continue, I'll make sure that you got this. Did you get yours? 
the gospel track, and then evangelism prospects, registration log. Because we'll, uh, we'll, we'll need this as we go along with the lesson this morning. Now, we want everybody to please participate uh, this morning. Please have your pen and paper ready with you. Please have your pen and paper ready with you. I'd like you to write the following Bible verses. Matthew chapter 18, verses 18 to 20. These are the key verses. Mark chapter 16, verses 15 to 16. Romans 1, 16. Romans 6, 3 to 6. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 1 to 4. And Proverbs eleven thirty. Like what we did at the Golden Gate Church of Christ during our Tuesday special devotional, please read and meditate on these Bible verses from at least four versions of the Bible. King James, Living Bible, NIB, Verse Standard, when you arrive home, so that you will fully realize and understand the necessity and urgency of sharing the gospel to the many lost souls from among your pranks. Now kindly recite excerpts of Romans 1.16 with me, three times. I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God to salvation. I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God to salvation. Now on uh, Proverbs 11, 30, Living Bible, it says here, All who win souls are wise. Can you repeat me? All who win souls are wise. All who win souls are wise. All who win souls are wise. Okay, to be prepared and ready to share the gospel, we must have the following. Number one, we must have the right message. We must have the right message. The gospel in its purity and simplicity is the power of God to salvation. In sharing the gospel, please tell the prospects who is the real Jesus in the Bible. That Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. Matthew chapter 16, verse 16. Number two, that Jesus is 100% God and 100% man. That's in John chapter 1, verse 1. Colossians chapter 2, verse 9. And the third one, Jesus is the only one mediator between God and man. 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 5. Not Mary, not the Pope, not Buddha, not Confucius, not Muhammad. Jesus is the only one mediator between God and man. And we need Jesus as the only mediator because our sins separated us from God. Isaiah chapter 59, verse 2. We are all sinners and fall short of the glory of God. Romans chapter 3, verse 23. In sharing the gospel, we must tell our prospects the historical facts of the Bible. 
DBR. DBR, das acronym, Date, Burial, Resurrection of Christ. Our prospects must learn how to obey the gospel for the forgiveness of our sins. That's in Acts chapter 2, verses 37 to 38. It's a tragedy that preachers from various religious denominations preach different gospel and they add or subtract from the word of God. Galatians and in Revelation is there, I marvel that you are turning away so soon from him who called you in the grace of Christ to a different gospel, which is not another, but there are some of you who trouble you and want to pervert the gospel of Christ. But even if we or an angel from heaven preach any gospel to you than what we have preached to you, let him be a curse. Early this year, while driving the mobile signing services appointment as in notary public, I saw a big letter, letters Nazarene, that's in Dili City, California, with a very small word, Christian under it, in front of that church building. These hyphenated Nazarene Christians are very proud to call themselves Nazarene and not plain Christian because their preachers are preaching the Nazarene doctrines and not the gospel in its purity and simplicity. The same is true to the other hyphenated Baptist Christians, Roman Catholic Christians, Lutheran Christians, Adventist Christians, Episcopal Christians, Methodist Christians, Presbyterian Christians, and others. When we preach the gospel in its purity and simplicity, my brethren and friends, from among our pranks, they will become just plain Christian. Just plain Christian. Do you really think and believe that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is happy and glorified when we wear the names Adventist, Nazarene, Roman Catholic, Episcopalian, Presbyterian, Baptist, Lutheran, Methodist, and not plain Christian? Number two, we must have the right attitude. We must have the right attitude. Every Christian must have the love, compassion, and humility in reaching out and sharing the gospel to the many precious souls among our pranks. In 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 15, the Bible says, But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts, and always be ready to give a defense to everyone who asks you for a reason for the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. That should be our attitude as Christians in sharing the gospel in its purity and simplicity to the many precious souls from among our pranks. Number three, we must have the right action. We must have the right action. 
the first two letter word, letters of the word gospel is G-O, go. The Great Commission in Matthew chapter 15 that was read earlier by our brother. And in Mark 16, verses 15 to 16, we have the emphasized word, go. James chapter 1, verse 2 says, But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only. The world population as of January 2024 is now 8.11 billion. 8.11 billion. Majority are Muslims and from other religious denominations. Only a very small percentage are Christians. Jesus said that the harvest is plentiful, but very few are harvesters or soul winners. As answer to the challenge of our Lord Jesus Christ, all Christians must be ready to get out from their comfort zone and go to the place where the spiritual souls are. Where are the spiritual souls? I was with the brother Mike Allop with my wife for lunch in Pacifica. He said that we should start sharing the gospel from where we are starting with our family and reach out. So the precious souls are in homes, workplace, neighborhood, banks, post office, schools, hospitals, restaurants like McDonald's, bus, airport, and other places. This is the charity begins at home. So we must start sharing the gospel right in our home to our parents, brothers, sisters, siblings, relatives. That's which we should start. The gospel transcends all races, nationalities, and status of life. The gospel in spirit and simplicity is very powerful in converting honest and sincere lost souls. Young and old, rich and poor, male and female, all races and nationalities, black, white, Chinese, Filipino, Asian, Hispanics. I'm not an eloquent speaker and orator like US President Barack Obama or Prime Minister, the late Prime Minister Winston Churchill. But God gave me the compassion, the love, the humility, an opportunity to share the gospel to many precious souls. Few days before Freedom Day, on July 4, 2004, I was invited as guest preacher by Brother Raymond Coates, Minister of Columbia Heights Church of Christ in San Francisco. On that fateful early morning, my wife and I introduced ourselves to James Phillips, a black American who was standing in front of the church building. James Phillips mentioned, that he was a prisoner on death row who was miraculously pardoned and new released from St. Quentin prison. He told us that God directed him to attend the worship services <coughs> at, his, at the Columbia Heights Church of Christ in San Francisco. <coughs> I preached the gospel in purity and simplicity and at the end of the sermon, <clears throat> James Phillips came forward and decided to be baptized for the remissions of all his sins. The Columbia Heights congregation didn't have baptistry, so Brother Raymond Coates called Brother Martin Sharp, the minister of the Bibu Church of Christ in San Francisco, and arranged that will use the baptistry. About 3.30 p.m. 
on that fateful Sunday afternoon, Brother Raymond Coates officiated the baptism of James Phillips in the presence of brethren from Columbia Heights, Bayview, and Golden Gate congregations. Our bro brother in Christ, James Phillips, is on his way to heaven like us. Since 2012, my beloved wife and I have been involved with the Waker Ministries in conducting annual Waker Evangelism Campaign and Workshop in Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao in the Philippines. Hundreds and thousands of precious lost souls obeyed the gospel in baptism for the forgiveness of their sins and are now on their way to heaven like us. <clears throat> Here in San Francisco Bay Area, let me just introduce some precious souls who heard and obeyed the gospel in baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We have Renato Marcos, cousin of uh, incumbent Philippine President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. He heard the gospel presentation to the arrangement of his beloved wife, Deborah Marcos. Now Renato Marcos is very active brother in Christ, our regular song leader at the Golden Gate Church of Christ. We have Jack Wang. Chinese, who was exposed to Buddhism and communism way back in China. Sister Rose de la Cruz and I were fortunate to share the gospel to him. Now, Jack Wang is our brother in Christ and helping the worship assembly. We have Boris Quinones, <coughs> who met American missionaries from various denominations way back in El Salvador, but was never shared the gospel to him. My wife and I were blessed to share the gospel to him one Sunday up to the last month. He obeyed the gospel in baptism for the remission of all sins. He's now a Hispanic brother in Christ on his way to heaven like us. Now Regina Record, a Caucasian lady who attended the Soul Winners Workshop conducted by Brother General. At the end of the gospel presentation, Regina decided to be the gospel in baptism for the forgiveness of her sins. Yes, personal evangelism, if we have that love and compassion for the lost souls, Personal evangelism will become a lifestyle. You sleep, think, breathe, and talk the gospel 24-7, 365 days a week. If we have that love and compassion for the middle souls, evangelism is a lifestyle. Now, here are some effective uh, practical ways we can do to share the gospel to the many lost souls, collectively and individually. Number one, first and foremost, prayers. Let's pray without ceasing. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17. Pray that God will open doors and opportunities for the sharing of the gospel to the many lost souls from among our pranks. Brother General and his wife Russell, first hour in the morning, they always pray this prayer like this. Oh Lord, please guide and direct me to a precious soul today. Oh Lord, please guide and direct me to a precious soul today. It's not an accident that I'm here standing, sharing a message for you this morning. I've been praying that God will give open doors and opportunities for me.
to share the gospel to as many souls as. And that's answered prayer. Brother Mike requested me to be the guest preacher this morning. The elders scheduled me. This is not an accident. It's answered the prayers that God will open doors and opportunities for the sharing of the gospel to the mineral souls. Number two, make a written evangelist prospects from among your pranks. Please bring out this one that you, you have. You write their names, address, phone number, and some remarks. If you have the notation there, we have pranks. Prank for friend, R for relative, family members, A associate, N for neighbor, C for co-worker, and S for strangers. Just spell out the names, addresses, phone numbers from among your friends, relatives, acquaintances, neighbors, co-workers, and even strangers. Then post your evangelistic prospects list inside your home where you can say it every day. Pray for the prospects that God will open their hearts and minds for the sharing of the gospel. Number three, distribute the gospel tract, the mystery that brings eternal life. Right here, this one. It has the gospel enacted and reenacted combination of the weaker approach and seeker's guide prepared by Brother Terry Dennis. This gospel track has been translated in major dialects, uh, Spanish, Tagalog, Ilocano, Pangasinan, and major dialects in the Philippines now being used, distributed by so many congregations in the Philippines to plant the seed, the gospel for the many lost souls. The fourth one, the fourth simple way that is very effective is the space bracelet. I've said this one to some uh, members uh, when we were here, and Brother Mike got some. This press bracelet was shared by Brother Salvador Carriaga. It's very simple. The best bracelet has five colors. Black represents sin. All have sinned and pursued with the glory of God. But the blood of Christ red, was away our sins. Because when the sinner hears the gospel, it's the death, burial, and resurrection of Christ. And with the gospel in baptism, all his sins are washed away as white as snow. And every Christian, young and old, must grow and mature as green. All Christians, young and old, must remain faithful until death. Until Christ comes back, or when we die, whichever comes first, so that we'll walk in the streets of gold that's yellow in heaven. This is a very powerful way. I use this as a break as breaker to share the gospel to a Jewish lady Rachel. My wife used it as a breaker to reach a neighbor Henry and arrange for gospel presentation. Raquel and he are now our brethren and brothers and sisters in Christ. The fourth way that we could use to reach out to our pranks in sharing the gospel is the book's ministry. I brought some copies here. If you have not uh, filled out the Gospel Sunday registration log, please uh, fill out so and after the worship service, the elders, deacons, and Brother Mike will do the raffle drawing. We have reserved 20 copies with this book. We have uh, this book's ministry started by Brother Terry Dennis and Brother John Jeffrey. Includes a uh, historicity of Jesus, subtitled Facts and Evidences for Agnostics, Believers, and Christians. We have a lifestyle for longevity, 
how to be healthy emotionally, financially, physically, sexually, and spiritually. We have raw wisdom, finding face in the midst of chaos. By Brother John Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, the final days on earth before his return to heaven. We have longevity tips, secrets you can discover and do for good health and longevity. We have laughter for good health, humorous anecdotes and stories on coping events, families, history, and personalities. And we have real estate and you, your basic guide information for successful investing in home, land, and income property. The sixth way that we could do to share the gospel to our precious souls from our pranks is using the weaker New Testament chain reference Bible. If you know how to read and write, you can share the gospel in its purity and simplicity to your pranks. Just follow the chain reference using this weaker New Testament in reference Bible. A young lady was baptized one Sunday evening while attending weekly evangelism campaign workshop. Using this New Testament reference Bible, she presented the gospel to her close friend the following Wednesday. At the end of the gospel presentation, her close friend obeyed the gospel in baptism for the forgiveness of sins. Imagine just a Christian for three days, he was able to share the gospel to a close friend using the simple chain reference New Testament Bible. The seventh one, just follow the weaker New Testament outline. This one is the Outline that was uh, prepared by Brother General. We have in the book, Eternal Life Outline. Just follow through with this. If yes, you know how to read and write, just let the prospect read the pertinent verses. Last month, my wife and I were fortunate to present the gospel to Boris in Kenyonis, a visitor and neighbor in our neighborhood at the Golden Gate Church of Christ. She attended Bible class and worship services. At the end of the gospel presentation, Brother Boris Quinones decided to be the gospel in baptism. Do you know what he commented, Brother Boris? He said, this is very simple, easy and direct to the point. Everybody can do it. That's his word our brother, Hispanic brother from El Salvador, using the eternal life outline. He said, it's very simple, easy, and direct to the point. Everybody can do it. Number eight, weaker ministry approach. Weaker ministry approach. During the COVID-19 pandemic lockdown, my sister-in-law, Ursula Talon Madlaeng, arranged a weaker gospel presentation for her daughter, Mercelina. My wife and I drove to their home in San Jose, California for the weaker gospel presentation to find answer to this urgent and important question. What if Christ were to come right now? Or if you will die tomorrow, would you know for sure without any doubt that you would go to heaven? We found the answer using this weaker approach. During the gospel presentation, Mercilena invited her cousin Emmanuel to join the gospel presentation. At the end of the gospel presentation, Mercilena and Emmanuel decided to be the gospel in baptism. We drove in two cars from San Jose to San Francisco. I officiated the baptism of Mercilena and Emmanuel at the Golden Gate Church Baptistry. Let me introduce uh, 
Mayor Chilina and Emmanuel here. Your young brothers in Christ with the sharing of the gospel during the COVID pandemic lockdown. Thank you. Number nine. My angel radio ministry. Brother Edwin Bakani introduced this week in radio ministry. It has now three presentation centers in San Francisco, Sacramento, and Albuquerque. We have five stations in the Philippines. It's very simple to share the gospel to your friends. Just support and join the My Angel Radio presentation and share this to your friends. Share this to your friends. And then the tenth one, final way that we could do to share the gospel to the mineral souls. The local congregation can host soul winners workshop or weekly evangelism workshop. Since 2012, my wife and I have been involved in the annual weekly ministry campaign in the Philippines. We have also participated in soul winners workshop conducted by Brother Janro. Every congregation which hosted these workshops grow numerically and spiritually, active members double and tripled in numbers. So those are the 10 simple proven ways that we could do collectively and individually to share the gospel to the many lost souls from Amora Franks. Renato Marcos, Regina Record, Jack Wang, Boris Quinones, James Phillips, Mercilina, Emmanuel, and hundreds and thousands of precious souls who obeyed the gospel in baptism. These are solid evidence that the gospel is the power of God to salvation. But the base and solid proof and evidence that the gospel is the power of God to salvation is your humble servant is standing before you this morning. I was a Roman Catholic in the elementary grades, a Methodist in high school years, became an agnostic during my college days because I was associated with the late Juma Sesson, the, the founder of the Communist Party of the Philippines. But by the grace and mercy of God, I searched and meditated on the scriptures, understood the real Jesus in the Bible, his death, burial, and resurrection, and obeyed the gospel in baptism for the forgiveness of all my sins in the summer of 1972. I'm now standing before you, my brethren and friends, as a plain Christian with love, compassion, and humility in sharing the gospel in its purity and simplicity to the precious souls from among our pranks. In conclusion, let us read together the urgent and serious warning of the Apostle Paul in Galatians, in 2 Thessalonians, chapter 1. Verse 7 to 9. If you have your Bible, let's read this. The urgent and serious warning of the Apostle Paul. 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, 7 to 9. And here's the warning of the Apostle Paul. Paul. 
And to you who are troubled, race with us. When the Lord Jesus is revealed from heaven with his mighty angels in flaming fire, taking vengeance to those who don't know God and those who do not obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. This shall be punished with eternal destruction from the presence of the Lord with the glory of his power. Brother Mike Arlock mentioned in Bible class earlier that he was fearful before he became a Christian because he didn't want to go that eternal damnation in hell with burning fire that encouraged him to search the scripture know the gospel. The Apostle Paul mentioned two conditions of those who will go to eternal damnation in hell. Number one, those who do not know God. Number two, those who refuse to obey the gospel in baptism for the forgiveness of all sins. This morning, you are blessed and fortunate to know the real Jesus in the Bible his death, burial, and resurrection, and how to be the gospel in baptism for the forgiveness of all sins. You can obey the gospel in baptism now so that you'll have eternal life in heaven, like what Brother Mike Arlock testified earlier in the Bible class this morning. You don't have any excuse or alibi because it will take only a few seconds for you to be immersed and wash away all your sins. Acts 22, 16. Your decision this morning will determine whether you will go to eternal life in heaven or eternal damnation in hell. Don't be like King Agrippa who said to Paul, Paul, you almost persuade me to become a Christian. Almost a Christian like King Agrippa will not bring you to eternal life in heaven, but will surely bring you to eternal damnation in hell. If you have been a Christian, but became lukewarm for any reason, we encourage you to please come forward as we sing the invitation.